Let's begin this video by looking at the InDesign working environment. First, let's look at one of the basic things you can change, which is the application frame. So notice right now I have both application frame and bar checked. If I just have the application bar clicked, notice I can see down to my desktop. Additionally, in the InDesign working environment, you can sync your preferences and settings through your Creative Cloud. So as long as you are logged into your Creative Cloud, and you'll notice your image there and there, then you can have specific workspaces, settings, libraries, and those will be synced wherever you log in. Let's look at other basic preferences through InDesign and Preferences. We're going to start with our interface. The interface is the overall appearance and color theme that you'll look at. So you can change that right there. You can also change your floating tools to a single row, a double column, or a single column. The next area I want to point out is units and increments. This is where you can set your ruler units. By default, these are in pikas, but if you prefer to work in another measurement, you can change that. Right below that is stroke. I recommend keeping that in points. That's the most familiar unit of measurement used in design. Let's look at grids. And here are some ways that you can set your grids. So the baseline grid, that's kind of the grid that's below everything. And most of the time, I don't use that. I use my document grid. So I can change what that document grid looks like and I can change how it's measured. So for example, if I change each of these to one, I'm then viewing a one pica grid. I can also uncheck grids and back. That means my grids will appear on top of content. That's really helpful if you're measuring the distance from things like photos and text. So that is the basics of our InDesign working environment.